Hello everyone! So this video is a tutorial on how to set up the automated invoice for your FB Live selling, automated invoice for your comments and DMs for Facebook and Instagram shop. Let's start with an introduction. When a customer comments the product code in your Facebook Live selling or a normal post, our system detects the product code and sends the automated invoice directly to their inbox. This is what it looks like. This feature is perfect for all the Facebook Live sellers and online sellers who wants their invoice to be automated since the customer can click the link and then pay by themselves immediately. So now I will show you how to set it up. Once you've logged into your Page365 account, go to Settings and click Automated Invoice. You have an option to turn it on via Facebook photo post and inbox or Facebook video post and live. Once you turn it on, you will see other edits. Before we proceed to other settings, you can check the typing format. You have an option to choose mine, space, code, space, amount, or type only code, space, amount. Please note that both typing formats can work without the amount. If the customer only type mine, space, SKU, and if the customer just write the SKU or the code, it still works. Once you've turned the auto invoicing, we have three cases that you can edit and customize by your own. One is when the product is available, two, product is out of stock, or number three, product is not found. Let's start with the product available. Once the system detects that the product is available in your inventory, it will automatically send the auto reply or the automated invoice like this. You can preview. You also have an option to create an unpaid order or create a draft order. When creating a draft order, the automated invoice will not be sent to customer's inbox but will appear in your order's draft. Once you're done, click OK. For the default shipping, you also have a choice to pick which default shipping you want to choose. Click OK. For the automated invoice that they receive, you can edit this to another setting or click Edit. And go down to Order Status Update and change it here. Next would be Case Product Out of Stock. Once your inventory turns to zero, an automated message will be sent to the customer saying that the product that they want to order is already out of stock. You also have an option to create a draft order or do not create an order. And you can also edit the message that they will receive. You can preview it here. And the last case, if the product is not found. If the SKU or the code that they type is wrong, they will receive this message. Once again, you have an invoice option to create a draft order or do not create an order. Click OK. And then you can edit the auto reply that will be sent to them. You can click preview. All three cases have an option to be turned off or turned on. If you don't want customers to receive a product out of stock message, you can click here to turn it off. Once you finish setting up, you can check the conversations area and click on the automated invoice. All automated invoice will be recorded here and you can check which photo it came from or which Facebook Live it came from. You can also edit the invoice on this side like changing the shipping option or changing the shipping fee and just click save if you want to edit something.